Uh, we went to Toddy's in Bardstown. Yes, we did. Uh, which is a liquor store in Bardstown. I'm going to switch over to this, guys. It is definitely an old school one, guys. Check this out. Yeah, this is Doesn't Toddy's this Liquors. Look any of those born in the 70s, this is what your liquor store looks like. Yeah, for real. And <laughs> as you can see there in the, in the left side there, drive through window, and it was busy. It was, it was yeah. popping. And we were there, what, what time do you think it was during the day? Like maybe 3 o'clock, something like that? 3 mm -hmm. or 4 o'clock? So we're going to do a little video here. Can I point something out in yes, this picture? Yes, please. Do you all see the uh, newspaper stand there? You know, with nothing in it? Yeah, with nothing in it. I guess because it's sold out. <laughs> That's what it is. It was sold out. Everybody loves newspapers so much. <laughs> That's the weekly Bardstown newspaper today. <laughs> There's a look around, uh, just kind of look, look at the side there. <laughs> See right. the crap post. So I did this. I did this video like half speed. I slowed it down to half speed so we can kind of work our way through here. Cause please feel free to jump in here anytime you want. Uh, when I see Murray Hill Club for 165, we got a problem right there. Okay. Now I want to say something about Toddy's. First of all, right. he was really cool to let us go in there and film, and they have a lot of stuff. We're gonna spend like the next five minutes looking at all. Do you the have stuff a picture have. of him? No. Oh, okay. He looks like he a Scooby-Doo good guy. Yes, he does. He looks like Not he's a bad a guy, good guy. One of the Scooby-Doo good guys. Like, he'd be hanging out with Shaggy just chilling. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right, they had a lot of stuff. We got tipped off by a... They have a lot of stuff. We got tipped off by a uh, local. Yes. About this place. Yes. They said, if you want to see unusual bourbon, you need to go to Toddy's. Mm -hmm. All right, look at this. We got Murray Hill oh. Club at 165, Magnus at 125... Uh, these blue uh, Rock ones. Hill Farms. Look at that. Look at four ninety five for Rock Hill Farms. Ouch. Seems like a lot to me. Or Orphan uh, Barrel Fable and Folly at two sixty, yeah. I think, or two forty. Dude, Becky was going to be able to get that for me in the allocation for like ninety. That seems a little high, but I mean, good luck finding that. The one that kills me is Old Ezra. They're asking yeah. one hundred five for that. You which got is, that in Auburn. That's what it goes for in Kentucky. Dude, we bought that for what was it twenty nine bucks? No, it was like forty. No, it was less than that. I think. Okay. Well, I mean. Uh, it Rock definitely Hill, was not that price. Hey, Raven, it looks like Rock Hill was four ninety five here, bro. Mm-hmm. That was a lot. Yeah, that seems like a whole heck of a lot. Uh, Seventeen ninety two is I'm not going to pay a lot of money for, but Old Ezra at one hundred, no way. Mm-hmm. Now these bourbons there this in the over middle. Here. These bourbons in the middle are the the old Saint Nick ones. Like I never know what to do with those. Me and Cuz see these in Florida all the time, and I never know if they're good. I don't you can know see about they're two hundred dollars a bottle. Like I never see these. I don't know what to do. Um. I'd be willing to try it just because I have not ever tried it before, right. but I don't know at $200 if I want to do that. I uh, need to go someplace that has the tasting of it first. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, if it was really good, maybe we would think about that. Uh, the Fourgate, they're going for 200 here. Um, that's approximately what they go for, I guess, so I'm not having mm -hmm. any issues there. Uh, I like the old tub at fifteen fifty seven. That's, That's a very nice. specific price. It's a man who knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Also, check out here top right uh, the E. H. Taylor Tornado version. That is very interesting. So that 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 warehouse C got hit by a tornado, I think, in 07 or 08. and I like what it says on the price tag. Enough said. Enough said. Eighty seven hundred. <laughs> $8,700. I mean, that's an exceptionally rare barrel. And if you're an E.H. Taylor super fan, I, I understand that. You want but that bottle, but maybe, you better go get the lottery ticket first to maybe not be able to price. justify that. Uh, Raven says he don't sleep on the old tub at fifteen fifty seven. I think that's a good I, price, honestly. I would drink. I, I have drank. Mm -hmm. and I don't feel like I'm gutter slutting with that. <laughs> All right, now we're moving over here above the drive through window, mm -hmm. and you see they've got a Blanton's uh, Gold with a leather bag for five seventy five. I think we got our bottle for like one hundred and twenty five bucks or whatever. No, we paid more than that, but that is now. I thought that was a communal bottle. Is that not? Oh a communal yeah, we, bottle? we share custody of that. Yeah, bottle, so yeah. it was definitely more than one hundred twenty five dollars. Uh, e. H. Taylor there looks like it's at, what three seventy five for an eighteen year Elijah Craig. I mean, Ugh. what? We don't even like that one. Like we've done that one in a great. blind taste test, and it never scores well. Uh, this Heaven Hill bottled and bond oh. with the blue top right here. What's next to it? What's in that box? Is that the, uh, the 17? I don't know. I can't tell. You can't tell. Anyway. We saw the Heaven Hill at the distillery, and uh, we passed on mm -hmm. it at 80 bucks. Yep. There's a straight from the barrel. Let's see what they want for that. 425 for the straight from the barrel. Well, the Bland's is really hard to find in Kentucky, which is kind of weird. It's hard to find it. Now, look at all that. I mean... They had, they had cases of Weller sitting on the floor there. Yeah, it's one for mm -hmm. 68, two for 130. Yeah. But we got Weller at uh, the distillery there at, at Buffalo Trace. and Yeah, but it was, it was less than that. It was interesting. You don't see cases of Weller just sitting around. No, not where we're at. Mm -mm. 
No. Uh, I try to keep this as steady as I can, but I don't do the necessarily the greatest job ever. Kentucky Owl to me is superbly overrated. I'm um, not interested in paying anything unusual for that stuff. I was kind of going back to make sure we got some of that Blanton's in there. 430 for the Blanton's black, 375 for Blanton's red. Yikes, man. Yep. And then the regular Blanton's is 158, which seems like a whole heck of a lot. You still have a whole other side of the wall to do here. Yeah, we're working there. We're working our way mm -hmm. over there. That Wild Turkey 13, because is that the uh, father and son one that we were drinking? It was purple like that. Got some E.H. Taylors up there. Got a mm -hmm. whole run of them there. Uh, we actually got that Bardstown Foursquare. Look those. at that bottle of Eagle Rare, man. That's sweet. Now, I actually thought about getting I that I thought one, about honestly. getting that. I That's a just, half gallon Just of because it's Eagle a Rare. big fatty. You don't ever see that kind of bottle. 183. That's that should nice. probably retail in like the 100 range, I would think. Tori says, can you bargain or are they firm? Um, hey, I think he was pretty firm. <laughs> this old boy. I don't know. That's one yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't think this guy had negotiating power, the yeah, guy that was running it. I, I don't think it was kinda, his shop. Yeah. Uh, Ravin says, can't find Weller at all in Florida. Might be able to near Orlando. I've never heard of Old Louisville. You know, the only half gallon of Weller I ever got, Ravin, was in Destin. But that was, I think I just got lucky on that one. Melee did ask if these are secondary market prices, and they absolutely are. Absolutely are. Mm -hmm. So this is not retail, although it's a retail place. I guess in Kentucky that doesn't matter. You say or, or somebody turns a blind eye <laughs> because they get a bottle of Tornado. <laughs> now, cuz, I don't know how you would have felt about this one, but the Michter's limited release, the barrel strength Michter's there in the corner at two ninety five, like that's not insane to me. Like that's high, mm -hmm. but it's not off the reservation. I feel like that bottle is probably worth 200. And Stupup says very specific on these prices. Yeah, some of them have like 52 yeah. cents or whatever. We were someplace that every one of them had a cent at their after them, and I was like, that's odd. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if that Nictor's barrel strength would have done it for me. It, I mean, 295 is a lot, but mm -hmm. it's not off the reservation. Cuz says that uh, earlier purple uh, wild turkey was not the one we had. I didn't see the Russell's 13 when I was looking. Let's see, that stag is, what, 235? Mm -hmm, can't see. Let me go back here. I couldn't tell what it's The said. cigar blend is 399. Ugh. You can have it, man. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't see the price on the stag, guys. I guess I cut it off. And that Russell's uh, 13 year was 400 or something. Wow. That's a lot. This is stuff that they have over their coolers. Just some more stuff. Uh, one of these Burrells I thought wasn't that bad. I think it was the... Uh, that black box Burrell, it just says bourbon on it. That's a that's a 15 year regular Burrell at wow. 295. Isn't crazy. It's high, but it's not crazy. Buzzard Droost. Not gonna be touching that. Look at this Hancock's Reserve, yo. They want 295 for Hancock's Reserve. That's I like don't think that's worth 88 drinking proof. That. That's like Blanton's light, man. Again, not hating, dude. They, hey, they got their they got their product and they got their prices, and I appreciate them letting me uh, take a look there. There's me oh, in the uh, you see Shay. me up in the uh, video mm -hmm. <laughs> screen there. What an idiot! <laughs> idiot! Stop! Uh, nothing really of note here. There's all that Thomas, Thomas S. Moore. Yeah. More. Courtney Yay. loves the Thomas I love S. Moore. But this was definitely an old school place. I wish that you had gotten a um, picture of the wooden uh, bookcases that they had all the regular liquor on. They were, it was old school, dusty, yeah. like sketchy, like leaning over. <laughs> it's just old school. You were afraid if you picked up one of the bottles, the whole thing would fall apart. But Got some wilderness trail down there cool. at the end. It looks pretty good. That's cool. Uh, not much here I would have really gone after, I don't think. So that's yeah. the end of that video. Uh, again. It's a fun little visit though. Kuniman says, who's that stud in the top right corner? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what an idiot. Look at that nerd. Hold on, let's find that nerd Where'd again. Where'd he go? Hey, oh, look at that nerd. Look at me. There look I am. Look at that nerd. There I am videotaping. <laughs> what a goober, man. There's look at Courtney. That nerd. Oh, yeah, there I am. Making sure. All right, anyway. Toddies and <laughs> in, in Barstown, if you guys yes. are out that way, they're not paying us for that, obviously. No. But, uh, <laughs> I, I would encourage you. This is investigative journalism. Thanks for your service. <laughs> That's right. That's what yeah, I am. It's fun to I do. I'm a reporter uh, it's at, the fun to do. The, of, at, at the end of the day. Okay, so we also went to. Uh, I said a cool billboard outside of Toddy's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It was I'm fun. I'm going over to a little photos thing here. Oh. Oops, not that one. Oh, I gotta go down here. 
That's our hall, by the way. Yeah. We'll get to that here in a second. Uh, this is like show and tell. It um, is. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is it. I love this. Now, this is a chalkboard thing that was outside of Toddy's. Yes, I love it. And Courtney added... Uh, I love the... the, um, the with my no, hubby. I like the middle top one. I like my butt bourbon chug. butt chug. Bourbon butt chug. And the other one says, um, I like it in the trash. Yeah, that's not very nice. All over my body. There are some good answers here. Um, somebody said daily. <laughs> yeah, no, no judgment. And somebody said still in bottle. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I enjoyed the reading that. Yeah, you said, get a oh, I'm going to get a picture of this. I was chug. like, but... <laughs>